What is up YouTube? I'm back again with another review. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Case Revolver Ammo. Um, we are inside today. It was a pretty nice May day. Um, it's almost June. It's crazy to think about. But uh, it's currently storming out pretty good. So if you guys hear thunder, the lights flicker, then that's because of that. So anyways guys, let's get to the video. So here, this is what they come in, or this is what they look like unissued. And you got the scan barcode, the national stock number there, the national stock number there, and then what it is, it's the case revolver ammo, one each. Here's the DLA number, it has a contract of 1988, and I'm not sure what that means, but uh, down here is the manufacturing date, and it was made December 1991. There's no other markings on the box, so let's go ahead and open it up. There is one more stamp on the box right here. I'm not sure how well the camera's picking that up, but it just says ammo box. I'm not sure if that's on all of them or just this one. So, got the pouch out, and here's what it looks like. So there's no stamps on the pouch at all. It's just the, uh, the drop down pouch. So how this works is when you get into a, a shootout or something, and this is on your, your duty belt, um, you open this and then you fold it down. So it's like, imagine this is your belt. So you open it and then this piece folds down and then as you fold it down, here where the rounds are, you they just fall into your hand and then you load them into your gun like that. Um, they do have the, uh, well the Air Force never had the speed loaders but they're available out there for private purchase. Um, I myself like these better, they're just more classic. But uh, so here's what the pouch looks like opened up and you can see that it the belt loops are, are separated so at a first glance when it's closed like this you might just think that that's the belt loop when actually if you put that around like it is the belt loop you risk losing the pouch so I would just use the actual belt loops um, and each holds six so you got a total of 12 rounds this is an Air Force security police pouch to my knowledge, only Air Force Security Police use these things. So, whenever you see them, um, that's who used them. Now, they do have the older ones. I have one example. Well, technically two. It's still in the mail right now. Um, here is my uh, shoulder holster, the revolver type, with my uh, 38 Special uh, Victory model and I've added one of these pouches. This is actually the first ammo pouch that, the first revolver pouch I got. Um, and its stamp is like this. So it says case revolver ammo. Not sure what that is. There's the national stock number. There's where it's made Oklahoma Leather Products Inc. And right there in the center is the date 1976 and then it's stamped US. I think some will be stamped USAF, but not all of them. Um, and then this one, see how I have it like this. So that's how it would look on a belt. And then these would just fall down in your hand. But the way it, it's set up on the shoulder holster is that I'm using these um, strip, or not strip clips, uh, speed strips. I'll go ahead and pull one out for you guys. <clears throat> so basically, oh yeah, and these are made by Banshee. They'll hold 38 special and 357. So basically, they just hold all your bullets together. So when you pull out, pull them out, they all come together, and um, it makes it a little bit easier when loading them. So if you ever see those things, that's what they're there for. But anyways, guys, this is just the video about these things. These things have been around since the 60s, I want to say. Um, I've never seen them 50s dated. Um, they, they might have had them in the 50s. The military, I mean, I know police have had them a long time, but uh, as far as Air Force goes, I think they've only had them since the 60s. And then, of course, they stopped using them probably around, well, 
1988 was the last year the Air Force Security Police used their revolver. Um, so why they they kept them, I think maybe it's because the, the contract lasted so long that it lasted up into the, the late uh, or early 90s. So anyways, guys, that is it for the review. This is the Case Revolver Ammo. Very cool pouch. If you guys, this is a must. If you're building an Air Force Security Police or Air Police Impression from the 60s um, up in the 70s, and then they, of course uh, throughout the 80s too. But anyways, guys, that is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something new. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and let me know. And as always, have a nice day.